Oh, oh. Whoa, hello everyone. Welcome to Cooking in Azeroth, the first ever cooking show in Azeroth. My name is Platinum. Today, we're gonna be making something very special from the World of Warcraft cookbook. Since we're Mulgore, we're gonna make some Mulgore spice bread. Look at that cow, look at that cow over there. Yeah, we're in Mulgore, uh-huh, it's real. Now before we make our bread, first we need to get some ingredients. So, let's head on over to the auction house, huh? Now, before we make our portal, first, I need some mana. Mm. <laughs> That's not mana, it's a mouthwash! <laughs> okay, uh, never mind that, let's just uh, make the portal. Okay, here we are in the Orgrimmar auction house. Okay, so let's see. What do we what do we need here? Let's see. Uh, we need one and a half cups of warm milk, two tablespoons of brown sugar, Mulgore spices. Now, here's the deal. Uh, I checked all over the auction house. No Mulgore spices are listed, so uh, we're gonna have to make our own. Okay, let's continue with the rest of the stuff. Okay, we also need one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of butter melted, and three cups of flour, and some instant yeast. Okay, that's pretty simple. Okay, so since we're here, let's just make those Mulgore spices, huh? Okay, wow, that's magic, baby. So in order to make these Mulgore spices, we're gonna need half a teaspoon of ground karma, car karma, karma, ginger, cinnamon, pinched ground cloves, and mace. Okay, so we have all of our stuff in this bowl. Let me uh, give you guys a close-up so you can see. So yeah, if you can see see there, um, it, it's a bunch of shit in a bowl. Okay, now that we got our Mulgore spices, I think we can head back to Mulgore and finally start working on this bread. <laughs> nope, no, nope, still, still mouthwash. Okay, so the first thing we need for our Mulgore spice bread is one and a half cups of warm milk. Now, thankfully, we're in Mulgore. So hopefully warm milk won't be that- Jesus! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, oh, okay. Give me a warning next time. Oh my god, okay. Well, I, I guess I guess we have our warm milk now. Let's just see what else we need. Uh, okay, there's a bunch of milk all over the book now. Now we need to add the brown sugar <laughs> and the yeast. All right, two tablespoons of brown sugar. We can see it's the Silver Moon brand, not any sort of real world brand. All right, now we got our two tablespoons of instant yeast and... Oh my God, this, this stuff smells horrible. Oh, why I do that? Oh my god! Oh my god, that's actually so bad. Not, I'm not even joking anymore. This is this isn't a part of the video. Okay, as I was saying, uh, two tablespoons of yeast. So now we can actually add the spices that we made. So hopefully this will make it not taste horrible. Now we add a tablespoon of salt. I don't have a. We'll just say uh, I don't know. That, that's probably a tablespoon, right? Oh my! This book is like. Look at that. This book is ruined from that that damn that damn cow over there. He was the one that was squirting all over my my set. You son of a bitch. Now we add our melted butter. Perfect. And finally, we can add our flour. Again, not a real life brand. This is actually, if we look here, uh, Thun Thunder Bluff flour. So we gotta gradually add three cups of flour. This is the part where we start to get a bit messy. So let's just start doing that. I mean, we already made so much of a mess because of that guy. Something tells me I'm not doing the right thing right now. I think I need like a, a mixer or something because like, this just can't seem like be, I don't know how to make bread. Look at my cooking skill. It's like out of one. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, okay? But we're just gonna, so hopefully it works out. Okay, now, okay, we're, it's actually starting to look like bread now. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. The next step here is tip the dough onto a lightly floured surface and knead for a few minutes until it bounces back when poked. Place in a lightly greased bowl and cover with a tea towel. That sounds easy enough. Mmm, look at that. Okay, I'm definitely doing something wrong here, huh? Okay, so this is the fun part where we get to knead the dough. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Okay, that dough looks pretty kneaded to me, if I do say so myself. So now what we need to do is place it in a greased bowl, cover it with a tea towel, <clears throat> and now we wait for 30 minutes until it what, until it bounces back when poked. I think that's what it is. So uh, let's wait for 30 minutes. Okay, time has passed. I cleaned my face and I think our bread is risen. So let's check it out. Okay, I, this is definitely not what it's supposed to look like. So what we gotta do now is shape it in an oblong loaf. So while I was staring longingly as my dough was rising, I realized something. Because I'm in the middle of Mulgore, I don't have an oven, I don't have a baking sheet or uh, the, yeah, I, I can't cook this is what I'm trying to say. Um, from a scale of one to oblong, how does this look? <clears throat> it looks pretty oblong to me. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is we have to cut some decorative marks in it. So yeah, like I said, don't have an oven or a baking sheet. Um, so, Let's just um, open up this portal and uh, hopefully that will cook. And now we have to wait like 25 minutes or so. Now, while we wait for that to cook, how about we just enjoy the beauty of Mulgore, huh? <laughs> It just is so beautiful, huh? <laughs> you know, I really hope this video doesn't turn out like that one Swifty video. You know what I'm talking about? The one where he's like green screened in the game and he's like fighting guys and he's like on his mount and he's like, like that. No hate against Swifty though. Me and Swifty, we go way back, way back. Look at this picture. Me and Swifty hanging out at BlizzCon. I'm like 13 years old. Yeah, we're, we're good friends, okay? Trust me. Oh, hey, look at that. I think our bread is ready and... Okay. Well, here it is. Um, does not uh, look like the picture that was uh, in the cookbook, but um, hey, when you cook it in the Firelands, I don't think you're gonna get good quality. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get a midsection shot of me opening this up. Mmm, look at that. Oh, look at the smoke. Mmm. It smells kind of like wet socks, which I don't think is what Mulgore spice bread is supposed to smell like. I guess there's one thing left to do, and that's give it a taste, huh? Well, I think I can safely say that it, it tastes like shit. <laughs>